you talked about relationships, education being certainly one of the primary ways in which to build those. My question simply is, you speak that the Jewish community certainly has moved to a certain level where they are now empowering and have empowered themselves. APAC and groups like that are very well known. The Muslim community, you feel, is, is getting to that takeoff stage, if we can use that terminology. What do you see coming in the next, perhaps, decade, give or take, if the Muslim community is able to reach that takeoff stage and successfully empower itself vis-a-vis -vis other groups in, this, in the United States, certainly, if not worldwide? Will they be able to impact the way the media portrays, certainly the Muslim community, and other communities of religious and ethnic origin, and try to reach that dialogue and that understanding on a greater level that you speak about? Do you think that's possible? I, I do. I mean, I think that, um, you know, we already have, for example, uh, today, the, 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 the number of dialogues that go on at, at, lo at local community level, you know, between communities and among uh, officials, but also at the official level, you know, uh, uh, between the National Conference of Catholic Bishops, let's say, and Muslim groups. Uh, there are dialogues being held not only in Washington, but uh, in, uh, with ISNA uh, being held in New York, you know, et cetera, at that level. Uh, the political empowerment groups, it's more difficult. Uh, one of the things that uh, Muslim groups seem to share in common is um, that it, it's like, you know, when I was a kid, I used to uh, play around uh, a little with magic, and you would get like one little rabbit, and you would squeeze it, and there would be three and four and five. Well, that's what Muslim groups do, you know. You establish a Muslim group, and within three months, you got two and three, not because they're growing from strength, but because they're an argument, they break away, they, and so that's gonna be the challenge also, you know, that ability to work together. The second is, and you ask most Muslim groups and most Arab groups this, when do they get the funding when there's a crisis? You know, then the support and the funding, and then when it passes, things drop off. I mean, I'm talking about whether I talk to, uh, if you will, uh, Arab groups that are non-religious, or if I talk to the, uh, um, uh, Gosh, it's a, I'm very good friends. The American Muslim Council and other groups. The funding will go up when there's a crisis. That's not a community that deals from strength. Strength is that, you know, that you, you do institution building so that when there's a crisis, the institution is there and strong, you know? And I think that, that that's part of what the, what the challenge is. Please. 